courage is not the absence of fear. It is but your actions in the face of fear itself. During my first Marine call, I didn't really have much time to think about anything. Everything was moving at a really fast pace. So all I could think about was getting my gear and running straight uh, towards the boat. I didn't know what to expect from this. As we were getting closer and closer, I was a little scared, but at the same time, I was excited, mainly because I didn't know what to expect from this. With all that training, there was nothing compared to the real thing. Is it? Okay. My heart was beating faster and faster. And to be honest, I wasn't sure if I was ready. I could feel the heat coming out from underneath. And instantly, my training kicked in. Everyone knew what they had to do. I knew what I had to do. And I kind of just went into autopilot. When I first got to the scene of fire, the first thing that came to my mind was darkness. Um, I couldn't see past three to five feet in front of me. There was smoke everywhere in the room, so it was very hard to see. So yeah, I had my flashlight on my helmet and my face mask, and when you have your whole gear on, it almost feels like a video game, except this time it was a real thing. Marine Command is a very young division in SDF. For me as an NSF, it's a great honor to be a part of it. From the start, we've been progressing at a very fast pace in terms of our training, infrastructure, our skill sets, and even our appliances. One example would be the rapid response fire vessel. The new Rapid Response Fire Vessel leads our charge into this new frontier. Equipped with water jet propulsion and capable of reaching speeds of up to 40 knots, it brings us one step closer to our vision of becoming a world-class life-saving force on both land and sea. Major incidents don't happen all the time. Therefore, it is always very important for us at the SADF to go through sufficient trainings and of course exercises for us to always constantly improve on our skills and capabilities, especially for myself as an NS man. Exercises are very, very important so that when we attend real incidents out there and when actual lives are at stake, we know that we are ready. In today's world, efficiency and innovation are key to staying both relevant and effective. The new fire and medical vehicle embodies that by combining both firefighting and medical capabilities into one. To complement that, we have also introduced a cross-specialization program for our rescuers in this vehicle, equipping them with both fire rescue and first aid abilities to ensure more effective rescue operations. In our line of work, location is everything. We are constantly expanding our reach to all corners of the island by building and rebuilding fire stations, 
like the opening of the Sentosa Fire Station, the 21st addition to our force, as well as the groundbreaking ceremony for the new Jurong Fire Station. One can simply look at your news portals, whether on social media, via photos or videos, and you can really, really see how our men and women, they brave through the heat when they attend to these big incidents. Being in the line of duty means never resting on our laurels. From one incident to the next, it is our job to continuously ensure the safety of the lives and property in Singapore. What's the update? I'll use uh, my gear phone here. What's the update? <laughs> Enforcement blitzes are essential in order for the SCDF to not only gain insight into the fire safety measures that organizations are taking around the island, but also allow us to spread the word of fire safety directly. With the recent SG Secure initiative launched by Prime Minister Lee in September 2016, our NS men are now not only able to serve in responding to fire and medical incidents, we are now well equipped to engage the public on a more personal level, spreading the SG Secure message from door to door in order for Singapore to stay alert, stay united and stay strong. SG Secure is a new movement that I'm proud to be part of. We go door to door to spread the SG Secure message to the residents. This will help the residents to ensure their own safety and the safety of those people around them. In a real emergency, your best chance of survival is the person next to you. That's why we believe it is important to have events like Emergency Preparedness Day. This helps to bring awareness on fire safety and first aid skills to the public. In a country like Singapore, Standing together as one people will always be our first line of defence. That is why the SCDF recognises the importance of allowing the community to feel and know that they too are an integral part of protecting the people around us and our way of life. Through our annual Lifesavers Connect, we engage the community by allowing them to get up close and personal with our appliances, personnel and training methods. This is done through interactive tours as well as hands-on experiences with firefighting and first aid. Every year, the Singapore Global Firefighters and Paramedics Challenge gathers rescuers from all around the world. From Hong Kong to the United Kingdom, they compete head-to-head -head with our rescuers, bringing a sense of camaraderie and partnership to our force through the spirit of competition. 
The SCDF is the first organization in Singapore to be conferred both the Singapore Quality Award with special commendation, as well as the Innovation Excellence Award consecutively over the span of two years. There are a great many things that passion, abilities and dedication can accomplish. But no matter what, greatness can never be achieved alone. Fostering partnerships with both local and international agencies is important for us as a force because even though we may all be in a similar line of work, the experiences and lessons are all different. Everyone has a story to tell and every story contains its own invaluable lesson. It is said that the strength of any force can only be measured by the strength of those dedicated to its cause. Our national servicemen like Sean, Samuel and Fartsley are pillars of our organization and a testament to how far NS has come since 1967. They embody that dedication and embody what it means to be a part of the life-saving force. Go house to house to spread this message to the resident. In today's world, efficiency and innovation are key.